So I get a lot of questions about which appliance is better. Is it the air fryer or is it the Instant Pot? So today we're gonna do a little experiment yeah. and we're gonna see which works better with our delicious peach cobbler. So I've made a lot of Instant Pot recipes before. Huh, a yes. lot. <laughs> Time. <laughs> and a lot of air fryer recipes. We're gonna put it to the test. Yeah. Now I'm curious if you are team air fryer or if you're team Instant Pot or if you're team both. So put that down below. I am, I'm really curious. All right, are we ready? We are ready. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Just jump right in. Okay, if you guys remember last time I introduced you to Mallory. She is my helper in the kitchen. Hello. And she loves cooking. It's so, so much fun. <laughs> we are excited. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make both recipes at the same time. We're gonna make the mixture and then we'll separate it. So she's gonna be the air fryer queen yes. and I'll, I'll be in charge of the Instant Pot. Okay, so the recipe calls for two cups of peaches, so we're just gonna go ahead and add those in. Yes, now we drained these because yes. we didn't want all the liquid in Tons them. Tons of liquid. Right, and this is a little more than two cups. Yeah. But we like peaches in ours. We love peaches. I mean, who doesn't like more peaches, right? They're the best. To the peaches, you're gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, so for the recipe, it calls for one third cup, but for this, since we're making two and two different things, so we're just gonna make two thirds cups. Then you're just gonna mix it all together. There are some little chunks of brown sugar in there, so just make sure you get, get those chunks out. Okay, so for the air fryer, I have a springform pan, and it just fits right in there, and we're gonna put about half the peaches in this. All right, let's fill it up. We don't make a big mess. If we do, it's okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, what do you think? I think that's about half. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm having a springform pan too that I that will fit into the Instant Pot and I'll put a link down below for both of these. Yes. All right, you wanna hold this for me? Yeah, let's do it. We'll do it again. There we go. Ooh, we're just gonna dump them all in. Yeah, this is how it's gonna roll. Perfect, awesome. So the recipe calls for a half of a box of dry cake mix, so we're just using the whole thing. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it on top of your peaches. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Now, again, you know me, I eyeball everything. I think that I should make a shirt that says that, like. You really should. I eyeball everything, because I, I literally do. But don't worry, I'll save you half of the bag. Awesome. We're almost there. How are you feeling about this? Great. I feel great, That's too. Perfect. Okay, so you do that. I'm gonna kind of just, like, I'm make this flat. Bit. Yeah, because the butter is gonna go on top, and we wanna make sure the butter will stay on and not, like, <laughs> seep down to all the sides. There we go. If you need to push peaches down, you can. Now it's time for the butter. So what this, the trick is, you just wanna cut little thin pieces, if you can see how thin that is. And then you're just going to put it all over the cake batter. Sorry, I'll give you the knife in a hey, second. It's fine. <laughs> Don't even worry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the Instant Pot first. Now you all know you need a little bit of liquid before you do the Instant Pot. And we're just gonna put this right in. So it's just on top of my trivet. Go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure you turn that correctly. Then you're gonna push pressure cook, and we only have to cook this for about 15 minutes. Once you set it, you can just walk away. Okay, now it's time for the air fryer. We're just gonna set this right in the middle. We just have parchment paper because, just so we don't make a mess right. everywhere. Sometimes it has a little bit of yeah. leakage. Yes. So we're just yes. gonna do that just in case. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go down to 330, and then we're gonna be doing that for 10 minutes. Okay, it's all done, let's open it up. Oh my gosh, it worked. It's like pretty crispy on the top. I love that. That looks pretty good. Right? Okay, so we're gonna let it go for about eight to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come up here and press the button to release all the rest of the pressure. Got my little gloves ready. Take the lid off. Oh, you can get that? It actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Okay, pulling this out. Very carefully, there we go. Okay, this is the Instant Pot one. I was actually pleasantly surprised with this. Like, you can tell the pressure, the pressurizing just made everything mix together. Oop. Okay, and this is the air fryer one. You can tell it is crunchier, which is how I like my cobbler, but it looks together as well as I'd hope. Ooh, yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Now, before the taste test, you just need to add a little bit of ice cream because, you know, you need ice cream with your cobbler. All right. We got them all ready to go. This is the Instant Pot one. Yes, we try this one first. Let's okay, let's do. Dive in. 
definitely turned out better than I thought it would. Right? I did. I thought it would be a big mush, but Me too. I was I was impressed. Me too. Let's do it. Mm, really hot still. <laughs> it's not bad. No. It. I feel like the butter didn't blend as yeah. well in the cake mix as I thought. I think it pressurized a lot. Yeah, and then it made it super like wet. Almost yeah, hot. Everything, More, everything's like, wet. Everything's wet, but, but it's not bad. I was surprised. I was Me surprised. too. Okay, air fryer. Air fryer. Let's do it. Let's try. Definitely more crispy. Definitely. I like it crispy. Me too. Ready? Mm. I do like that one. I do too. I do. The only thing I didn't love is that Wherever the butter wasn't touching. Yeah. Yeah. There was still like powder of the cake right. mix. Powdered cake mix. So it probably would maybe add a little more yeah. butter. Add the butter, all spread the cake it out mix. better. But for the most part, but I like the crispy. I like the crunchy bitter. Me too. You know, it, it did work out in the instant pot, but it just has if you've ever done a cake in the instant pot, it just it's a different texture. That's how the cobbler is. I saw you go for another one. Okay. <laughs> no, you didn't. How did you do that one? <laughs> All right, overall, that's pretty good. When do you give it? Instant Pot. I give it like a three out of five just because yeah. it was like, if you like it more crispy, then the air fryer is the way to go. Yep, air fryer is a... What do you say? I would say maybe like a four. I would say that too. Yeah, just with the, the dry cake mix, yeah. not my thing, but yeah, make sure it's I better. like it that it was crispier. Me too, so we're good. good. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Now, if you want some dinner ideas, if you need a little mm -hmm. bit of help with that, we have some delicious right ones. Yep, right there. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>